So glasses versus contact lenses. In this video, we're going to weigh out the pros and the cons between wearing contacts versus glasses, going over things like cost, the different powers in the lenses, as well as which one gives you better vision. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. If you're new here to the channel and you like learning about the eyes, then consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, trying to figure out which one is better for you, glasses versus contacts, can be a little bit tricky because they both have many benefits to them. Some of the benefits of glasses include being able to easily take them on and off. That's sometimes really helpful for some people compared to contacts, which are a little bit more maintenance heavy. And it is as far as the lenses go for glasses, they have amazing optical quality. You can get something from the bargain bin if you want, but if you want to see as sharp as you can, oftentimes glasses are probably the easiest solution to seeing better. On top of that, Glasses have complete customizable options, whether you just want a basic frame to get you by, or if you want something a little bit more classy like I have here, or if you want something completely wild just to express your artistic style, you can get all of those. Your lenses can be fully customizable based on what type of lens material you want. If you want something that's more safety protection, do you want something that's maybe got a transition lens that changes into sunglasses? There's a lot of different options out there. If you're somebody who sees double vision or has like a wandering eye, you can get prisms put into your glasses where that's really not too possible with contacts. And then if you were somebody who has trouble seeing up close, you can even get bifocals, trifocals, progressive no-line bifocals. You can even get a bifocal put on the top of the lens if you really want, if you are somebody who maybe works underneath cars like an auto mechanic or an electrician. And as far as price for glasses, you can go from anywhere from the cheap bargain bin low quality pair of glasses that you can find in some optical shops online to the most expensive, extravagant pairs of glasses that are out there. Some celebrities are even known to pay $10,000 or more for a single pair of designer glasses. Now, as far as contact lenses goes, and yes, I am wearing contact lenses underneath these glasses. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up. I am pretty biased toward contacts just because contact lenses changed my life when I first got them when I was 13 years old and honestly, definitely contributed to me even becoming an eye doctor in the first place. Some of the reasons I love contact lenses versus glasses is that contact lenses give you the freedom of not having to wear anything on your face, especially really good for social engagements as well as sporting activities. That's in fact the reason I got into contacts when I was 13 anyways, because I wanted to play sports and it's kind of hard to play sports with thick Coke bottle glasses. Wearing contact lenses also allows you to wear non-prescription sunglasses a lot easier, which is something that I absolutely love to do. And then also contact lenses take away some of the motion sickness and kind of distortions that that you can get from wearing glasses lenses. Because when you're wearing glasses, your glasses sit about 12 millimeters in front of your corneal plane. And when you look around through a different part of the lens and shift your eyes around, you're gonna look through that different part of the lens and that's gonna have a prismatic effect that we call Prentice's rule. And that prismatic effect can kind of give people this sense of motion or distortion in their lenses, especially for people with high amounts of higher powers or even higher amounts of astigmatism. They're more likely to notice that motion sickness feeling. But with contact lenses, since the lenses themselves are physically touching the eye when you shift your eyes around, you're looking through the same part of the lens all the time, and so you don't get that same kind of prismatic effect. And another benefit is that with contacts, you don't have to deal with looking through a frame and part blocking part of your vision all day. Now, a frequent question I get about glasses versus contact lenses has to do with the power of the lenses in your glasses versus the contacts. Now, glasses lenses power are not necessarily gonna be the same as a contact lens power. The, for, the reason for that has to do with how your glasses sit in front of your face. Again, they're usually about 12 millimeters in front of the cornea. And if you've ever picked up your glasses and moved them closer to your eyes and kind of moved them, trombone them back and forth, you'll notice that the power seems to change. And that's because the closer you bring the lenses to your eye, the more kind of negative power you're adding to those lenses. So for people who have a stronger prescription, 
In eye care, we usually reduce the amount of negative power or we add more plus power when the contact lenses are getting moved from the 12 millimeter of your glasses to directly onto the cornea as with contact lenses. And this adjustment that your doctor factors in is based on two things, the power of your glasses, because the higher power you have, the more of adjustment needs to be made, as well as where your glasses are typically sitting on your face. Is it at 12 millimeters or is it further down at 14 or 15 millimeters? That does make a difference. Now, as far as cost goes for contact lenses, it's like shopping for a new cell phone. If you want something with the newest technology that is healthiest for the eye and most comfortable, expect that you're gonna pay more. It goes far as maybe around $1,000 for a year supply if you're wearing the contact lenses every day, down to super cheap if you want something that is just really old and probably not really healthy for the eye. In fact, some of the contact lenses on the market, especially the kind of colored contact lenses that you can find through some kind of scary online retailers that are super cheap. They're like, I've found them online for like $5 before. Those are often made based on old technology patents from the 1960s, and they're in generally not very healthy for the eye because the standards for health uh, and health for the cornea and the surface of the eye with contact lens wear weren't really even established until the mid 1980s. But in general, for most people looking for a healthy, newer technology of contact lens, expect that for a yearly supply, they'd be paying about the same price of a new pair of glasses of somewhere between two to 400 US dollars. Probably one of the biggest downsides of contact lenses is that they do pose a higher risk for eye complications and infection. And that's why it does take some level of responsibility to take care of contact lenses and to wear them properly. That includes cleaning and disinfecting them correctly, as well as replacing them when they're designed to be replaced. Contact lenses can also feel dry and uncomfortable for some people, especially if you already have some form of dry eye disease. And some people have difficulty getting contact lenses in and out of the eye. And if you're kind of just beginning in your contact lens journey and you'd like to kind of learn more about getting contact lenses in or out, I do have a full series kind of contact lenses for beginners, then you definitely want to check out that series and I'll hook that up in the YouTube card above, as well as a description in the video link below for you as a resource. Now, as far as glasses versus contacts in terms of which gives you better vision, that's a tough debate and it really depends on a couple of factors. For most people, glasses are probably gonna have a higher optical quality and will give you sharper vision as long as your glasses are clean, they're up to date and fitting right. Uh, as far as soft contact lenses go, like the ones I'm wearing now, in general, again, the optical quality is not quite hitting glasses, but most people should be able to still see close to 2020 with a pair of contacts versus their glasses. However, there are some people who do better with contact lenses versus glasses, and those are usually individuals who have a really high glasses prescription because with the higher prescription, they're gonna have more distortions in the lenses, where somebody who has a kind of high amounts of astigmatism or some type of corneal disease, such as keratoconus, they may do better with specialty contact lenses, such as hard RGP lenses or some type of scleral lens. Those specialty lenses can mask over any sort of defects on the surface of the eye and get rid of aberrations and other sort of distortions that they may see with something like glasses. So as far as vision goes, it definitely depends on the person, but in general, most people do see maybe a little bit better with standard glasses versus wearing soft contact lenses. But to fully answer that question, I'm gonna pass it off to you. Do you prefer glasses, contact lenses? Which one do you think you see better out of? Go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. And if you're a glasses wearer and you haven't seen my tips or tricks for glasses wearers, go ahead and check out that video by clicking or tapping the screen up over here to the side. Or maybe you're getting into contact lenses and you'd like to learn more about those. For that, you can check out this video series down over here. Again, this is Dr. Allen here, helping you with the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.